The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus journeyed from one town and village to another, preaching and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom of God. Accompanying him were the twelve, and some women who had been cured of evil spirits and infirmities. Mary called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had gone out. Joanna, the wife of Herod Stuart Chusa, Susanna, and many others, who provided for them out of their resources. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Every day as a priest, I deal with people dying. You know, death and dying is a big part of our ministry. And I don't know what I'd do if we didn't have the good news of the resurrection. Because the centerpiece of our faith is that we are an Easter people. Hallelujah is our sound. We are here on earth to know, love, and serve God so we can be with God for all eternity. And St. Paul puts it beautiful in today's, in today's first reading. If Christ has not been raised, then in vain is our faith. But what, what gives meaning and purpose to this life is knowing that it's a preparation for the life to come. And it's something to very much look forward to. And it's nice to know that all our loved ones, all our family members who have gone before us, are gone to glory to live like the angels and to be with God for all eternity in heaven. That's the good news of our faith. We are a people destined for heaven. And I love the gospel. Jesus going around preaching. And of course he had the men, but he had a lot of good women helping him. And I love the last line in the gospel. They provided for them out of their resources. I mean, isn't it, nothing has changed too much in the church since the time of Jesus. Just look around here this morning. How many men are here? How many women? There's almost three uh, women for every man. Who, who does 90% of the work around here? It's the women. I don't know what we do without the women around here. We very much appreciate the contribution that the women make and uh, the, the goodness of, of, of women in our church is fantastic. And so today we, 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 we see the example of the women with Jesus and it continues. So long may it continue. And I want to say a special thanks to all the people who have been recording our Mass for us. Since the coronavirus, you know, a lot of people have been watching us on the World Wide Web. Uh, you know, uh, any one day there's six to eight hundred to a thousand people watching us. And it's a lot of work involved for the people involved in doing it. And the Shadlers, Dave Beatty, David Eckert, and Terry Sullivan have been doing a great job. Now we need help. So I'm appealing to all of you watching. We need volunteers to be able to record the Mass every day so we can continue to put it out to people outside of our parish. I would love if we had three volunteers because it's a lot of work. It's six Masses a week. So if each one could record two Masses, Dave Beattie will teach you how to do it. You, you have to record it. The easy part from what I gather is to come and record it. All you have to do is press a button. But uploading and editing, that's where it's more complicated and you have to have the right internet to do it. Uh, the internet here in the church is not strong enough to do it. We have to do it at our houses. I mean, you can do it at my house. That's plenty good enough, but um, it's not strong enough here at the church. So we need, we need uh, I think I have one volunteer already. So we need two more volunteers so that the recording of the mass can continue. So anyone watching, please call if you're available in the morning time to uh, record our mass uh, for us because it's a, it's a very important ministry. And if we don't have volunteers to do it, then we stop doing it. That's it. I can't do it. Uh, Jesus needed people to do his work. I need people to do the work. So now the ball is in your court. So please step up and answer the call of Christ to make the mass available to the people that have been enjoying it so much.